brings such an important issue to light. Um, it's definitely something that we've seen because uh, just maybe to give some background information, uh, we, with the female factor, we tend to only work with inclusive companies and companies that generally stand behind diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? Now, why this is relevant for your question is that throughout, the, throughout chats with companies, um, we always tend to kind of vet, do a vetting procedure here, and unfortunately we have to say no to companies that, you know, do carry the stance which you just described, right? And it's actually insane how present they are. So, on that set, in that sense, you know, there's so much uh, progress that needs to be done to really tackle this from the root in this sense, right? Um, maybe to also like shed some light. Uh, you know, our main mission is to increase uh, gender parity on a leadership level, right? And when we, we sometimes we encounter situations where you know all of these big fromages and big CEOs they ask us, "Oh, you want to replace me with a woman?" I mean, come on, you know, like, it's not about that, but like, yeah, so what you just said carries so much validity, and I would encourage every single person in this room and every single person watching the stream to proactively either get more informed on this in order to really grasp how ever-present this is, and number two, perhaps urge their employers, when they see something like this happen, to take some action against it, right? Mm. Exactly, and if, if need be, there is a lot of data about, um, you know, money talks, right? And if, you know, you put the money behind uh, money where your mouth is, there's a lot of data that supports the claim that a more diverse uh, leadership team uh, has better results for the company. So even if, you know, the morality of it, <laughs> it doesn't get them, uh, you can, you know, use the hard data. But as Dorian said, we, you know, as, a, as a platform, we, we use our platform to... Uh, only work with companies that we you know, are already working on this, but we also are uh, helping companies that maybe, you know, are not yeah. quite there get over the line to be better in the future. And it's very much a case to case basis on the topic of how do you change this? How do you walk the talk, right? Yeah, it's very much on a case to case basis, and at the end of the day, it's all about sometimes it's up way up there, right? And uh, it takes sometimes a lot to convince these people that, you know, what you're doing is not okay, this yeah. needs to change, and so on and so forth. May I just ask, are you still struggling with this? Yeah. Nowadays, please join our community. Mm -hmm. I would very happily and personally match you to an amazing company that's inclusive, and yeah, perhaps you can also have a chat on some ideas on how to spread this message because this is a genuine issue, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. And it is, you know, you're not the only one I noticed that as soon as I moved to Austria as well. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's not cool. Um, and particularly when you, you know, you've been in your own background, in your own company, country, and you think, oh shit, things need to be improved in my own country. And then you move somewhere else and you're like, oh, okay. Um, it's not rainbows and cupcakes over here as well. No, okay. no, it's not cool. So yeah. um, I hope that, I don't know, I don't know if that really answers the question, but hopes provide a little bit more insight to, to where we're coming from as a company and as, as a platform for what we what we try and do as well. Um, our CEO Mardis also has a really great TEDx talk about this this issue, like the business case for gender equality. Any other questions? Any other questions for us this evening?